Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program, Fuckers. And today I've got a very special treat. My good friend Descartes, the staff reporter Descartes, has uh, filed a wonderful report on his recent trip to Zurich and Bern. And uh, this is just fabulous. And I felt with the flavor of Basel World, Basel World in everyone's mouth, I thought it'd be a lovely idea to share some of these wonderful pictures with the audience. So uh, before we cut to that, let's uh, take a small commercial break from my good friends, Jewelers on Time, who have been wonderful sponsors and continue to support me every month. Please enjoy. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we do in the work at the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you get in a brand new unit. The only difference is the money. Thank you, Jewelers on Time. And I've got to tell you, fuckers, if you want value for money and you want a really minty timepiece, Jewelers on Time. Jewelers on Time also, Jewelers on Time also do wonderful service work. Now, Descartes was, uh, he's, he's an interesting chap there. He's a corporate lawyer and uh, he went to Switzerland on a business trip. What a lucky fucker. And uh, he managed to take some wonderful photos. I think he took these with his D800. He's another Nikon user. And uh, I got to tell you, these are, these are some wonderful shots. And I just love this city, the city of money. And uh, as Descartes said to me, this is a city where people come, not necessarily with their own money, but other people's money. And uh, it's, just, it's just a wonderful thing. Wealthy city. This is where you come to get a numbered bank account, which no fucker can touch. It's, uh, it's really the holy grail of the financial district. Wall Street, if you like, is the heart of the financial sector. Switzerland is the place to retire and to fuck off with embezzled funds. And uh, absolutely wonderful show. Absolutely wonderful. And uh, it's, it's, just, it's just great to see it. Prestige cars there. These are some really wealthy people. Marbachs, S-Class Mercedes, Porsches. They're all dime a dozen, fuckers. They're all dime a dozen. And uh, it's, it's wonderful to see, see this wonderful expose. And uh, including some really wonderful, wonderful antique type stores. This is for people with money. And, um, <clears throat> you know, hey fuckers, you've got money, this is what you do. You come here and enjoy. And uh, I absolutely love looking at Descartes' pictures here. And uh, it's very, very fascinating. Bern is the Swiss capital and home to Albert Einstein when he, he, uh, he postulated the theory of re relativity. He later became a physics professor at the University of Bern where his father went to school from America in the late 1950s and developed an appreciation of Swiss watches. He came back with a Gerard Perrigay, uh, this is Descartes' father, Descartes' father came back with a Gerard Perrigay, which Descartes owns to this day. Though he could have not afford a Rolex or Patek or anything like that, he certainly passed along his love of Swiss things to Descartes, especially watches. As I walked through the city, I couldn't help but think about Einstein looking at the beautiful and complicated Zoit Global, Zoit Global clock tower in the center of town and thinking how it inspired him to think about time and space, which led to the postulating theory of relativi relativity. Bern is an amazing, beautiful place where time stands still. And uh, it's just so beautiful to see these pics. And I, I really, I tell you what, fuckers, 
I really want to come here and see what it has to offer. This is, this is, this is, you know, there's Asia, but Switzerland. It's just absolutely fantastic. And to, to, to come through here and it's all got legs. This place has legs and, um, it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to see real cultured people uh, at their, uh, having, having fun and uh, living life to the best there. And uh, the Swiss, I've got to say, the Swiss, the Swiss have in impeccable manners and uh, it's, it's more than just money. It's, it's just a fantastic thing to see the delights. And one thing that's very interesting, don't come here looking for a discount. Descartes, even though Switzerland is the home of Swiss watches and one would think you would get things wholesale or cheaper, that's not really the case. Descartes was saying things are about one and a half times the price of pieces in, in America. In Switzerland, the culture is such that people don't discount. It's frowned upon to discount. And uh, if you can't afford to pay the price you can't afford the piece whereas in asian cultures it's it's second nature to haggle 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 and uh, even in americas the americas it's it's very much haggle and get the best possible price but uh switzerland has a uh, an air of of itself where um that's the price pay it or politely leave the store and uh it, it's interesting you know this this is this is how things are in the Swiss Swiss capital and uh, it, it's it's different it's not really the Archie luxury way of doing things I mean I want a discount but uh, Descartes was having a look around for a Jaeger Le Coultre 1960s memo Vox and uh, he couldn't really they, they were just so out of the ballpark there was one which was seven and a half Swiss francs which was a lot more than you'd pay for one in America and um, you know there's only so much cachet from buying one in Switzerland I mean do you really need the wank but um, it's interesting it's interesting it's um, it's a wonderful place to see and I think in many ways there maybe coming to Zurich and Bern is nicer than going to the commercialization of Basel world I mean Basel world is the holy Mecca for watch lovers but uh, Maybe looking at, you know, coming to a place like Zurich and Bern is really classy to see how things are done. The sophistication. And uh, it's not just for a convention center or a convention. It, this is really the, um, the luxury of the Swiss. So uh, I'd like to say thank you very much to the cards for these pictures. It's wonderful. You've certainly whet my appetite and... Uh, I certainly would love to go through there. I'm Archie Luxury. Thank you, Descartes, for this great honor. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece, and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece, and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.